start fresh see the bright opportunity in each new day every day may not be good but there is something good in every day with this thought a warm and pleasant morning to all me myself amil mani along with my friend abhinaya nothing can be started without the remembrance of almighty who created this world and the whole universe so i would like to call deva priya for the prayer In order to make us remember Mahatma Gandhi who shook this world in a gentle way let me invite Jeevan Jones for a beautiful message Good morning to our respected principal teachers and my dear friends today i am going to share a few words on the topic Gandhi as a true leader Mahatma Gandhi is one of the greatest leaders of all time there are many characteristics that made him an exceptional leader he was a simple man leading a simple life but strongly believed in and practiced the values of unity equality truth non violence justice and honesty his values and personality were instrumental in fighting the might of the british mahatma gandhi is widely recognized as one of the 20th century's greatest political and spiritual leaders the revered father of our nation has become a true inspiration to most of the leaders worldwide he pioneered and practiced the principles of satyagraha and non violence there are many characteristics that gandhi ji had that made him an exceptional leader but there are two that stick out his ability to be led by example and his persistence before gandhi ji led the indian civil rights movement india was a country that had multiple diverse nationalities he was able to unite india under one leader by leading through his own example gandhi ji practiced what he preached by dressing up like the poorest indian and having the barest minimum personal possessions not only was gandhi ji a great role model but was also very persistent and consistent in his beliefs he was very determined in following through what he believed in gandhi ji's success and sustained reputation makes him a great leader worthy to be followed and seek inspiration from With this, I am concluding my words. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Jeevan. Now I invite Dev Priya for a beautiful song.
Thank you, Devapriya. Now I invite Tevin Tok to speak about dignity of labor. Good morning, everyone, respected principal, teachers, and my dear friends. Today, in this pleasant morning, I would like to speak on the topic dignity of labor. Dignity of labor indicates that all types of jobs are represented equally and no occupation is considered superior. It refers to equal respect towards equal jobs, whether involving intellectual or physical labor. No job is considered to be inferior. Every job that is considered to be honesty and sincerity deserves appreciation. Every person has his choice to work. In earlier times, daily, several slaves were bought and sold openly in the markets. They lost their dignity and performed all sorts of hard and laborious work. Today, we are living in an independent and democratic age. It has been realized by most of the people that all forms of labor contribute to the welfare and development of society. When we talk about basic rights, the working class do not enjoy that respect which is enjoyed by business executives. Many learned people do not appreciate and practice the principle of dignity of labor. They prefer high-profile jobs. For example, a science graduate who is the son of a wealthy farmer would like to take up any job in a nearby city rather than to follow his father's occupation. Thus, it is not wise to look down upon manual labor. Any necessary work that pay an honest wage carries its own honor and dignity. He who works hard in agricultural fields to earn his two times bread and provide the country the necessary item, food, or a labor work in factory for eight hours a day. All contribute to national GDP. Without the labor, no one can think of a country. A labor is indeed a pillar of the nation. Finally, I like to conclude that work is not a punishment, it's a reward and his strength and his pleasure. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, Tevin. Now, let's listen to a melodious solo by Naurin Fatima Siraj. Ye masam ki barish, ye barish ka 
ये पानी के बूंद तुझे ही तो ढूंढे ये मैंने के बारिश ये बारिश पुरानी हो पूरी तुझे से मेरी ये कहानी तो वे ये उत्तर माश उपे भी ये शुक्र बाबा प्यासा and to feel the Cause I feel like the way you look that much Oh baby you should go and love yourself And to feel think that I'm still holding on to something You should go and love yourself Thank you Naurin With immense pleasure I invite the pillar of AKJM family Our dear principal Reverend Father Salvin Agustin SD For his valuable message Dear friends, once King Akbar asked his courtiers, which is the greatest weapon? Some said bow and arrow and others said sword. Birbal, who was considered the most intelligent in Akbar's court, was silent. Akbar asked Birbal, you too must name the greatest weapon. Birbal spoke, courage is the greatest weapon. The king said, Birbal, you are a foolish man. What do you speak? Birbal said, Maharaja, I will prove it to you. The next day, Birbal took the king for a walk. While walking, an elephant came in front of them. The elephant grew mad. People shouted, run away, run away. The path was very narrow to move any side. The elephant came in front of Birbal. In order to save his life, Birbal caught a dried bone and hurled it at the elephant. The bone struck the elephant on the head. The elephant stopped in its movement, turned and ran in the opposite direction. Akbar said, Birbal, you have chosen a beautiful thing. Birbal said, O oh Maharaj, I told you that courage is the greatest weapon. Anything, even a wooden piece, can work as armor when one has courage. Dear students, courage is the greatest gift. Courage is the greatest non-violent weapon. Be courageous always. Have a nice day. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you Father for your valuable words. Now I invite our guiding line, our beloved class teacher Mrs. Shani Kurian for her message. Respected Principal Father Salvin Agustin SD, Vice Principal, my dear colleagues and students, Good morning to all. As we have observed Gandhi Jayanti two days back, I would like to share a few qualities of Mahatma Gandhi, who is still an inspiration for most of us. Gandhi came to Indian politics just like a beam of light and a current of fresh air when India was in the deepest darkness of fear and ignorance. He was a great leader who always radiated positive energy. He was proactive that he had the habit to look for solutions instead of looking at the problems. He delegated responsibilities and he himself shouldered the most difficult ones. Being a great leader, he was approachable and he encouraged feedbacks from all. He was not partial and he was not biased. He did what he expected of others. 
he was accountable for all the mistakes of his team members instead of leaving them alone to handle. He was decisive by taking right decisions on right time. Let's all practice these qualities. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you Miss for your valuable words. Now it's time for school anthem. Let me invite Naurin Fatima Siraj for school anthem. Strive.